Hi students, today we're going to learn about uh, genetic vocabulary words that are very important for you. This will also help you on the following quiz. Um, let's start with, gen with uh, genetics. Um, this is the study of heredity. So as you can see right here, we're looking at DNA and chromosomes and, and uh, that's what we think of when we, st when we study genetics, the study of heredity. So what is heredity? Uh, let's look at this picture here. We're seeing uh, two parents and they're having offspring and they're going to give them some some genes or some DNA with instructions and so this is how you get your traits it's through heredity so heredity is a passing of traits from parents to offspring and we start here with this image because we need to know the difference between DNA chromosomes genes and alleles uh, so let's go ahead and start with um, DNA uh, so here we have DNA where do we look for it we look down here it's the, this molecule and again it's this molecule that has all our instructions for how to build our bodies um, how to maintain them and you know make sure that they stay alive um, for us to reproduce and all this information is there including our traits so again DNA nucleic acid that contains all instructions to build an organism and its traits and to keep you alive so that's DNA right there um, let's take a look here. Then once we have our DNA, remember your DNA is organized uh, into chromosomes so that it could fit into the microscopic nucleus of a cell. So basically DNA is wound around proteins until you get this X shape. So that's what a chromosome is. So a chromosome is just DNA that is tightly wound up around histone proteins. Cool. And uh, now we, we get to explore um, genes a little bit now. So let's look at the DNA. In the DNA there are sections or pieces of DNA that control our traits. And so that's what a uh, gene is. And here we have three genes. So let's pretend this distance from here to there is in charge of your height. So that's the height gene. Um, this distance right here is um, controls your face shape. And this distance right here from here to there is in charge of controlling your eye color. Um, so these are genes. So once again genes are sections of DNA that control a trait. Okay, cool. Now let's take a look um, a little bit more detail. So now we know what those things mean. And our next term is going to be alleles. So we look at a gene here and um, so dad has this area here for height and mom has an area for height. Now let's talk about specifics because they don't just give you height. They have to give you a specific form of height. So now we're going to talk about specifics. So we know that mom and dad carry the height gene, but which height instruction do they give you? Is it tall, short, medium? So now when we start talking about specifics, we're talking about alleles. So a way to remember it is gene is general. So when I talk about a gene like height, I didn't say tall or short, I just said height. So that's called the gene because I'm being very general. I'm talking about that section of DNA that controls height. Now what does mom give you? Brown or, or, or sorry, uh, tall or short, now that's specific height. I'm getting into the different forms of a gene, so those are called alleles. So what are alleles again? The different versions of a trait or of a gene. Okay, so now let's look at a quick example here. So here, um, here you have a homologous pair of chromosomes, again, the same size and height. And we'll just pretend that right here at that section, you know, the mom chromosome and the dad chromosome, they both carry um, eye color instructions. So the eye color is right there for the mom and the eye color is right there for the dad. Okay, so, but which which uh, eye color did they give you? So when we talk about specifics, like mom is giving me brown eyes. So now we're talking about the allele, the different form of eye color. So, and alleles we always designate with the letter. So the allele for, that mom gave is big B, which is brown eyes. And the allele that dad gave is little b, which is green eyes. So that's genes and alleles. For hair color, is that a gene or allele? That's a gene because we're being general. We didn't say brown hair, dark hair, blonde hair. We just said hair color. So that's a gene, meaning it's general. No specifics were given. Now let's talk about the next one, brown eyes. Is that a gene or a leo? Well, brown eyes is getting very specific. It's telling you what eye color it is, right? So then that's what we call the allele. So brown eyes is the allele. Uh, what, what can two alleles for height be? Let's think about height. What can be the two? Again, alleles means versions of a gene. So two forms of height. Oh, well, you can have tall. You can say medium. You can have short. 
Okay, so that that's what you know two alleles would be, tall, short, for example. Um, if brown hair and blonde hair are alleles, what would be the gene? So think about it. These are specific already, but what are they talking about? Brown hair, blonde hair. Good. They're talking about hair color. So that would be the gene. Okay, and finally, let's label A, B, and C. If you said A is the chromosome, you are correct. C is the gene, the section of DNA controlling your, your trait. And B, this is all pointing to DNA. More vocabulary. Let's talk about genotype and phenotype. Genotype is very easy. If you look in here, we zoom in. Genotype is just telling you the combination, the combination of alleles that exist. Remember, alleles are designated with um, a, a letter. And so that's genotype. And phenotype is the physical appearance of an organism. Way to remember that is physical is spelled with PH, and so is phenotype. Physical phenotype tells you the physical appearance. So if I'm saying like uh, blue eyes, then I'm telling you the physical appearance. So blue eyes or very tall, I'm telling you the appearance, so that's phenotype. But if I just said uh, big T, little t, or big T, big T, and I'm giving you letters, or I'm giving you a combination, then that's the genotype, the allele combination, okay? So genotype is letter combination or allele combination. And phenotype is just telling you the physical quality of a person. Let's look at genes versus alleles. We just talked about that in the other section. Again, a gene is just a piece of DNA. Um, so here's DNA and here's a section of it responsible for a certain trait. And then when we talk about alleles, we start talking about more specifics. We're talking about, well, what what's the gene that that dad is giving what specific gene so for example like brown eyes or b big b or like little b which would be green eyes that's specific now you're telling me exactly what i call what eye color is being given then we look at heterozygous and homozygous remember the root word hetero means different or other and uh, homo means same so when we're talking about heterozygous we're meaning uh we're talking about where you have one dominant and one recessive, so they're both different sizes. Uh, homozygous means the same size or the same um, the same allele. So let's take a look at that. So for example, um, little r, little r, little t, little t, little g, little g. All those are homozygous because they're the same. So for example, both of these are um, lowercase, both of these are lowercase, both of these are lowercase. Um, so you would actually say that they're homozygous. You'd be a little bit more specific because they're homozygous, but they're not homozygous dominant. They're homozygous recessive. Recessive meaning lowercase, dominant meaning um, capital, but there are, all these are homozygous recessive examples. Now let's look at heterozygous. Again, you have a capital and a lowercase, big R, little r. Here's another example of heterozygous, big T, little t. And another example, big G, little g. So again, when, when alleles for the same trait are different. In other words, when you have a capital and a lowercase. Purebred is another way of saying um, homozygous. Hybrid is another way of saying heterozygous. Again, big A, big A, these are homozygous, or we can also say purebred. Or pure, they're the same, right? This is a hybrid or heterozygous. So these are just other words for these above. Dominant or recessive, so let's talk about that. So when you have a dominant allele, again, I use a super superhero here, it means that it's dominant, it's very powerful. It overshadows the recessive allele or the lowercase allele. So um, here's a little r. Little r means it's recessive or it's hidden, just like this little kitten is hiding in that little um, cup very or, or mug. It looks very cute. So again, remember, dominant means overpowering, that this is hiding the other allele, and recessive means it is being hidden. So dominant always with a capital letter, recessive always with a lowercase letter. Big A, little a. Big A, little a. a. Again, you're talking about a combination of letters. So what was that? Exactly, it was genotype. Here, I'm telling you the physical appearance. Remember, physical means phenotype. I'm telling you it's blue eyes. Here, I'm giving you a letter combination, again, genotype. Here, I'm telling you physical appearance, phenotype. Physical appearance, phenotype. Here I'm just giving you a letter combination, again, genotype. Now, let's see how we did here. You saw a capital and a lowercase, so they're not the same, they're different, and we use the word heterozygous. Very good. Here we say they're both the same, but they're capital. So we say homozygous, dominant, right? Here they're both the same, but they're lowercase. So we say homozygous, recessive. 
Here again, they're capital and they're both the same, so we say homozygous dominant. Here it's heterozygous, homozygous recessive. This one is heterozygous, homozygous recessive, heterozygous, heterozygous, homozygous recessive, and homozygous dominant. See how you did? Let's see if we did very well. Okay, moving on. Here we go. So there's different types of modes of inheritance. Um, in other words, all the genes don't just work as in the classical way where we say one overpowers the other. Sometimes they both win, or sometimes they mix, or sometimes there's more than one allele or more than two alleles. So let's talk about these cases because genes work in four different ways, okay? Four different ways that genes work to give us our expressions, our, our, our traits. So the first way we call it complete or classical dominance. And this is the idea where you have, for example, if big T is tall, little t is short, if you have them in heterozygous form with the big T, little t, then the big T is going to win no matter what. And it'll and your child will come out tall. So again, big T, big T, big T, little t, both of these combinations give tall. And the only way you can get a recessive phenotype is where you have both of them the same size and lowercase. And that's the only way you'll get the short phenotype. So again, in heterozygous form, the dominant allele completely dominates the recessive allele. That's why we call it complete dominance. And we're used to these examples. These are the common or what they call classical examples. Now, here's some rare instances that have actually, I wouldn't say rare, but it happens a lot with our genes. This is an example of uh, snapdragon flowers. So in this case, you have big R is standing for red, little r means white. But when you have big R, big R, you get red. When you have big R, little r, you get pink. And big, little r, little r, you get white. So notice what happened in the heterozygous form. You know, not, you know, red didn't completely win or white didn't completely win. It's like if both of these, the red and the white, kind of mixed to give this in-between trait, a blended trait. So again, in incomplete dominance, in the heterozygous form, both alleles mix to create a blended trait. So look what happened again. This is the heterozygous form. Instead of red or white, when you get the heterozygous form, big R, little r, you get the in-between trait, which is pink. Okay. Next one is codominance. In this case, um, this is an example where, let's say, um, both traits actually show. So both traits show in this case. So let's talk about that, actually. Um, in this case, in this case, you have a red and white allele, but when you have the heterozygous form, like big R, little r, instead of pink, you actually have red and white. So, and here's another example where, let's say, if you had big B meaning, you know, um, brown, and little b meaning white. Well, when you have the big B and little b version, you actually get brown spots and white spots. So notice what happens here. This is different from incomplete because they did not mix. In here, both alleles are showing their effects in the heterozygous form. There's no mixing. There's actually both appearing. And there's some people that have that where they have one eye that's green and another eye that is brown. Or there's some dogs and cats that also do that too. Now, multiple alleles is another example. And this example is, um, let's see if this shows up. Oh, but this is um, when you have uh, more than two alleles appearing for a trait. So let's say like to get green eyes, you'd have to have big A, little a, big B, little b. So now we're not talking about just two alleles. We're going beyond the just regular two alleles we're used to. Okay, so now let's do some practice problems. Let's go to our next slide. Let's check for understanding. So label the following as complete dominance, incomplete dominance, codominance, or multiple alleles. Okay, so try these problems. So label these five as one of these. This one, this one, this one, or that one. Pause it, and let's get back to the answers. Okay, so let's assume you, I'm assuming that you did that already. So let's look at what we have here. So we have horizontal, um, vertical, but when we have the heterozygous form, we get vertical and horizontal. So in this case, the traits did not blend. Both appeared. So you guessed it. It is codominance when they both appear. They both show up. Now, let's look at hair type. Here we have big W, big W is curly. 
you know, little w, little w straight. But when you have the heterozygous form, you get wavy. So it looks like the curly and the straight blended. So instead of both appearing, they mixed. So exactly, it is incomplete dominance when the traits blend when you have the heterozygous form. Let's look at face shape. Um, in this case, big R, big R, and big R, little r give you round. Little r, little r is the only one that gives you square. So let's look at what happened with the heterozygous form. In the heterozygous form, you get big R and little r giving you round. So what happened here is that no matter what, the big R won completely, and it still comes out round. So not square at all, but round. So it looks like this is complete dominance because round completely beats out or hides the recessive um, square shape. Let's go to eye color. In this case, uh, let's look at you have brown. When you have big B, big B, little b, little b, you get green. But when you have the heterozygous form, you get brown and green. Again, no mixing. They both appear. You guessed it. It's codominance. Very good. Next one we have in this situation, and this one's very easy. You have more than two alleles determining a trait. So you know this is multiple alleles. Okay. And that concludes our practice. Good luck on your quiz and on your studying.